Rebecca Perry. I'm, um, I've got a couple businesses. Uh, Gardens by Rebecca is my uh, landscape bedding plant business. And I also have Sebacia Flower Farm, which is my flower farming um, operation here in Marston's Mills. And uh, we've got um, I maybe 5,000 square feet of greenhouses, of, of heated greenhouse space. Uh, in this particular greenhouse, we grow oriental lilies um, in crates uh, for uh, sale to wholesale to florists and to uh, retail at our, um, our garden carts. Um, we grow about 22,000 of these lilies every year um, between December and November. This greenhouse where we grow the lilies, we plant uh, in December. Um, and we do heat this house all winter. This house, um, we keep it at 65 degrees. Um, um, and we, so we start in December and we do heat all winter in this house. There's some good bills, <laughs> some good significant amount of gas that we're using and um, good expensive bills which we're hoping get reduced. I'm Steve Spear. I work for the Natural Resources Conservation Service um, in the local office in West Yarmouth, Massachusetts. So this is the particular uh, project here was the installation of radiant floor heating in a greenhouse uh, to save uh, dollars and actually to save um, uh, fuel um, and of course in the, uh, it also improves the carbon footprint of the house, uh, the greenhouse here since uh, it ultimately uses less energy but provides the plants what they need. So NRCS um, has helped me with several different things and most notably to upgrade this greenhouse from um, overhead forced hot air heat to radiant heat um, called root zone heat that is in the floor of this house. And by heating the root zone of these crates, these lily crates, we can reduce the air temperature by about 15 degrees so that um, we'll save um, hopefully significant amount of gas, of natural gas, um, for air, blowing air to by um, putting the heat in the floor and heating the, the zone, the, the actual dirt around the base of these plants. Uh, there are other uh, parts of this besides this radiant heat. There's replacement of furnaces. It's a 90 plus percent efficiency furnace that we've just put in. Reducing the air temperature, super efficient furnace, um, lots of square footage of, of tubing in the floor. We're, we're expecting that it's going to save us a, a fair amount of money. Okay, it, um, it's part of what we uh, call the Environmental Quality Incentive Program, and it is the part of it that refers to uh, making improvements in uh, energy conservation and efficiency. So initially we had to do a um, energy audit, and they came and looked at all of our old bills, saw how much uh, gas we had used, how much electricity we'd used, took pictures of all the equipment that we have, you know, how many BTU heat, uh, heaters we had, um, how, what kind of wattage our lights produced, um, and they did a very um, comprehensive um, analysis of our, of our energy use. So um, I'm really hoping that just by having the warmer spot down here, instead of having a plant with two buds on it, we'll get a third bud, and every one of those buds earns us a little bit more money. Um, you know, instead of having um, them take 100 days, maybe they'll only take 85 days to grow. So it'll be quicker, we're hoping as well. Um, just because the, the conditions will be ideal, we're hoping. But NRCS, it, it, was a, it was a natural fit for me after that to contact these guys, and um, Steve's been really big, big help and encouraged me right, you know, right along. You know, this is why a lot of us uh, do this work. We get to work with good people. We get to make a difference, uh, make some improvements, uh, you know, one parcel of land at a time. When we're finished and we're successful, uh, it feels good. They've made it so easy. 
they're you know, helping us to be better farmers.